Hi, this is Kronos with a video on how to buy and sell peer coins on an exchange. This video is very exchange centric. We're going to look into what goes on behind the scenes when you buy and sell on an exchange. There are other ways to get peer coin, of course. You can use an over the counter service such as Shapeshift.io, which will take in your bitcoins and give you peer coins without interacting with a third party. So you just trade with them directly. But with an exchange, you trade with other users. So that's the best way to get the absolute best possible price. If you're thinking of buying or selling a large number of peer coins, you should certainly use an exchange to get the best price after you watch this video to understand how that all works. If you're just gonna buy a couple of peer coins and you don't care so much about the price, then I definitely recommend using a service like Shapeshift because it's very convenient to just send them your Bitcoins and get the peer coins back instantly without having to create an account or anything like that. We'll be using the exchange BTCE for today's demonstration because that exchange has the majority of the peer coin volume today. So that's the place you definitely wanna trade at if you're doing a higher amount of volume. But what you learn in this video could be applied toward any exchange. So if you don't have any Bitcoins and you want to get pure coins, you can use what you learn in this video at, to trade your dollars or euros or whatever currency you use for Bitcoins and then use the steps in this video to turn your Bitcoin into pure coin. All right, let's get started. All right, here we are at the BTCE website where most pure coin trades take place today. You can see BTCE in the upper left in the URL bar there, and there's a dash there, so be sure you type that address in correctly. Here's all the different things you can trade on BTCE, including Bitcoins to dollars and Bitcoins to peer coins in this area, and of course, peer coins to dollars. These are the ones we're going to focus on in the demonstration. But first of all, let's sign up for an account in the upper right. Enter in username and password. Start with email. Of course, my email is chronos.crypto at gmail.com. And we'll say my login name is chronos crypto with no space or dot. Put in your password. Ask. No, it doesn't even need to match because I'm that awesome. I definitely recommend. Um, reading the terms of service when you sign up for an exchange down here because sometimes the terms are quite explicit about we're going to keep your funds and not tell you sometimes the terms say you can't trade on someone else's behalf etc etc so it's kind of good to know the rules just to see exactly what you're getting into and then click register when that's done you'll be taken to a message that says you've successfully registered and to confirm your account by going to your email address i'm going to stop this video so that i can confirm that and i'll be right back all right, back again. I clicked the link that was sent to me by email, and I now receive this message. My email is successfully confirmed. So let's go back to the main view by clicking BTCE in the upper left. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty of how an exchange works. I want to trade peer coins for bitcoins. So first, I need to deposit some funds. Click Finances in the upper right, and then BTC to deposit bitcoins. So click Deposit there. Now I get an address to which I need to send bitcoins. I'm going to send bitcoins to this address and it's going to take a little while for them to arrive. Three confirmations is about 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and send these using my Bitcoin software and I will be right back once again. All right, we are back and I've sent the Bitcoin transaction. As you can see here, I've got a pending transaction with zero confirmations. A confirmation occurs about once every 10 minutes on the Bitcoin blockchain. So that means it's going to take about 30 minutes for this to arrive because it takes three confirmations to receive Bitcoins. All right, they've now arrived. As you can see, I have the Bitcoins in my balance. I only have 0.01402567 Bitcoins. It's not a lot right now at the time of this recording, but maybe by the time you watch this, it'll be worth a little bit more. All right, let's go now buy some pure coins. Click BTCE in the upper left. Here you can see all of the different places you can trade or currencies you can trade on BTCE. All of these buttons are different currency pairs where you can exchange one currency for another. This main one is BTC to USD, so Bitcoins to dollars. If you want to trade Bitcoins with dollars and vice versa, you would click this button here. You can see other cryptocurrencies here as well. Here's Litecoins to Bitcoin and Litecoins to dollars. You can also find name coins on here and NovaCoin. These are different coins that BTCE supports. But of course, we're interested specifically in the two PeerCoin um, currency pairs, PeerCoin to Bitcoin and PeerCoin to dollars. 
Below that, you see a graph of the recent price history. I think this is a 24-hour period. So the price is kind of steady, kind of steady, kind of steady, going up, going up, up, bam, wow. To the moon for Bitcoin, we can see the price jumping up here. It's now around 266 at the time of this recording. Let's go over to the Pure Coin to Bitcoin order book, though, because I have Bitcoins and I want to buy Pure Coins with them. This chart looks kind of strange, but that's because the price has been in a very narrow band for the past 24 hours. We've been at 0 0.00. 135 and 0.00137 bitcoins per peer coin for this whole 24 hour period so the chart doesn't look like much let's scroll down a little bit more here's where you can make buy and sell offers now most people when they go to an exchange and they buy their peer coins they don't think about how the order book works so they don't get the best possible price this is what this video is going to teach you about how to get the right price let's scroll down a little bit more you can see the sell orders and the buy orders so this is the order book and this is the difference between trading on an exchange and trading through an over-the-counter service where you just purchase peer coins directly from them here these offers are from other users on the exchange so we get the opportunity to get the same price they're getting minus the exchange fee which is pretty small just 0.2 percent on this exchange right now but you can see a difference between the best sell offer 0 0.03137 and the best buy offer, 135, is actually two, two things between 135 and 137. Two, two what, one, one hundred thousandths of a Bitcoin? Not sure how much that is exactly, but it's something. So if you want to just buy pure coins, you end up taking this higher price, the best offer to sell at the time, 137. But if you're patient, you could put out an offer at 135 in order to let a buyer come to you. So this is called the spread, the difference between the best buy offer and the best sell offer. And a good trader can actually earn the difference between that spread by offering a buy and offering a sell at those two different prices and trading with people on both sides. All right, so we wanna buy some pure coin. So here it says buy pure coin, and it's automatically filled out the best sell price. So this will instantly buy pure coin, but this is a mistake that a lot of people do. They're not getting the best price by doing this. I can see 135 over here, so I could offer 135 instead. Now I don't know why it filled in this huge amount because I don't have that much Bitcoin. I have 0, 0.0 and this is a hassle to I have oh maybe it was no, I don't know how much I can buy. This is a hassle on this website figuring out how much you can buy. I have 0.014 bitcoins, so I can put in um, how many peer coins could I buy with that? 20? 10? Uh, about 10. About 10 peer coins with that because that is a total of 0.1 BTC. Now I'm going to put an offer in at 0.35. So click calculate to calculate your fee. Total is 0 0.0135, and that's less than I have, so perfect. I'll go ahead and do that. Buy peer coins and it's created an offer so this is not an instant trade this is instead an offer to trade at what is the best price now there's a lot of other people who have made this offer you can see an entire half of Bitcoin is being offered at this price 428 pure coins so I'm in the back of the line because my offer came a little bit later so that means all of these will have to be bought before I get my order filled Below that, you can see my best, my buy offer that's open, 135, the amount of pure coins I'm trying to buy, and my price. And here are the recent trades. There were some trades at 135, there's some trades at 137, trades at 136, etc. So everything's kind of in that range. So if I'm a patient buyer and I've got a lot of pure coins to buy, this is what I'm going to do. Put an offer in somewhere near the best offer to buy and just wait. Let someone come and fill my order because then I get a better price. If I'm in a hurry, I could just take the best offer that's on the order book. So this is called a limit order, an order that says this is the most I'm going to pay. This is the limit to the highest amount I'm going to pay because I'm limiting myself to this price right here, 135. Let's demonstrate now a market order, which is to take the best price on the market at a time. So let's cancel this one, click cancel, and net. Now fill in an order for 137. Now because of this, these two prices are close together, I think I can still get 10 pure coins. Let's click calculate and find out. It is costing me 137 and I have, oh, look at that. My order was filled, I think. No, it wasn't, it wasn't filled. Never mind. I thought because my balance was down that it had been filled, but it wasn't. My order was not fulfilled. It was simply taken out of my available funds when I placed the order. So let's buy these pure coins at 137. This is going to collide with this sell order. So it's going to instantly trade with whoever is offering to buy Bitcoin with pure coin at this price. 
and below here are the other offers at even higher prices. So if I want to buy 10 bitcoins worth, for example, I'm going to buy, whoops, didn't mean to zoom in, all of this, that's one, all of this, that's two, all of this, that adds up to maybe six or seven, and then a portion of these 11. So I'll push the price all the way up to 0.014 if I buy that many. That's why if you're buying or selling a lot, you don't want to just take the best prices. You'll push the price in the wrong direction and end up paying more and more. So a better way to trade, if you have a lot to trade, is to just put an offer in at the best offer to buy or the best offer to sell, the other side of the order book. That way you let somebody come to you and pay the price you want. So let's go ahead and buy pure coins at this price. Bought, here it is, bought 10 pure coins at a price of 137. Look at that. That word bought, that means we just did it. Scroll down and I have no active order. There's my trade, buy 10 pure coins. This is exciting. Let's go look at my finances at the top. So now you can see I have a teeny, teeny, tiny amount of Bitcoins, 0.00032567, whatever's left from that order. And I also have almost 10 pure coins. I don't have exactly 10 because of the exchange fee of 0.2%, but I have almost all of them. So now let's look at withdrawing them. Click withdraw. And you just have to put in the PeerCoin address to withdraw them from. To get that address, use your PeerCoin software to generate an address and then paste that address into this box. After you type in the PeerCoin, click Withdraw, and the PeerCoins will be sent to your wallet. That's everything there is to trading on BTCE. All right, now that you've seen how to trade an exchange, let me give you a few safety tips so you don't get burned when you get out there. First, make sure that the exchange you're using is trustworthy. I've used Bitstamp, I've used Coinbase, I've used BTCE. Those are pretty big exchanges that have been around for a long time and they're pretty reliable. But if you're looking at a smaller exchange or something that might be a little shadier, be careful. Do a Google search, search online for the exchange name, maybe include the word scam in your search and just read about what other issues other users may have had with that exchange. Because if the exchange is not trustworthy, when you send them your funds, you may not be able to withdraw the pure coins that you buy. They could just disappear with your money, and it can be very difficult to get it back if they do not give it back when they should. Secondly, be sure to set up something called two-factor authentication on the account if the exchange supports it, and BTCE does. With this set up, you get a text message every time you log in with a code that you have to supply when you're logging in. So if someone steals your password, that's not necessarily enough to log in and withdraw your funds. This is very, very important because the money on the exchange is not insured like it would be if it were at a bank. Most banks have insurance so that if your account is hacked or your money stolen out of the bank account, they'll often make good on the loss. Not true for cryptocurrency exchanges. The security is really up to you. So this is the downside. It's kind of the wild west of personal finance, but definitely setting up 2FA or two-factor authentication will help to secure your funds. Finally, and this is very important, withdraw your funds as soon as you're done trading. I didn't demonstrate withdrawing in this video, but you could be sure I'm going to withdraw those 10 pure coins just as soon as I finish recording this. This is because after a day or a week or a month goes by, you might think, oh, it doesn't matter. My money's fine. It's been there a long time. It is not. If that exchange ever just disappears or if your account suddenly gets a hacked, your money is gone. So it's up to you to withdraw it and store it safely in your own wallet. That's important because it's your job to do. Nobody else is going to do that for you. So be sure to withdraw the funds after you've finished using the exchange. Well, that's all there is to it. Go out and have some fun. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video or visit the forums at purecointalk.org. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.